How to style your hair into a modern knot. The modern knot is an updated version of the classic chignon. Here's how to get the look. You will need clean hair, a brush, an elastic band, and bobby pins. Optional, a paddle brush with boar bristles. Step one, begin with clean hair. A traditional knot stays in place better with day old hair, but for this messy modern look, freshly shampooed strands work better. Step two, brush your hair toward the back of your head. Using a brush with boar bristles will add shine and reduce frizz. Step three, make a ponytail with an elastic band, divide it into two sections and tuck the hair to tighten it. Step four, twist the two sections around each other and keep twisting until you reach the bottom of the tail. Step five, now take the twisted ponytail and coil it around the elastic band. Step six, secure the knot with bobby pins. Don't worry if there are loose pieces. A casual vibe is the point of a modern knot. Did you know? A Yale University study found that women with hair pulled back are perceived as more intelligent. How to style your hair with gel. Styling gel is the Swiss army knife of hairstyling, an all-purpose tool that can help you achieve any goal or look. You may even want to take some on your next camping trip. You will need the gel hairstyling product of your choice. Optional, a blow dryer. Step one, choose the style you want and determine the type of gel you'll need to hold it in place. Use a lighter foam gel for a tussled bedhead look. Use a medium hold gel for a wet and shiny spikes or a thick gel for a slicked back look. Avoid using gels that contain alcohol. They will damage and dry out your hair. Step two, start with wet or damp hair. The gel will hold better and longer. Step three, squeeze the gel into your palm and rub it vigorously between your hands until it is warm and thoroughly emulsified. Use a dime-sized amount for short hair, a quarter-sized dollop for medium-length hair, and two or more quarter-sized dollops for longer, thicker hair. Step four, work the gel from your scalp to the tips of your hair. Step five, style your hair as desired. Step six, if you want your hair to remain shiny from the gel, allow it to dry naturally. For less shine and a stronger hold, blow dry your style into place on a low setting. Did you know, unlike his gelled up spiked hair bandmates, Steve Jones, lead guitarist for the Sex Pistols, actually had a perm. How to style your hair with mousse. While mousse doesn't offer the vice-like grip of styling gel, it does provide a lighter, less sticky hold that makes it the go-to product for volume, volume, volume. You will need a mousse hair styling product of your choice. Optional, a blow dryer. Step one, start with either wet or dry hair. If your hair is wet, the mousse will keep it looking sleek and shiny. On dry hair, it will be less noticeable, but provide more hold. Step two, shake the can of mousse vigorously. Step three, squeeze some mousse into one palm and rub it onto both hands. Use a silver dollar sized dollop for short hair, a golf ball sized amount for medium length hair, and a billiard ball sized amount for long hair. Step four, brush your hands up through your hair, distributing the mousse evenly from your roots out to the tips of your hair. Step five, tousle or smooth your hair into the style you want. Keep the shape, blow dry on a low setting. If you don't blow dry, your hair can easily be restyled all day long with just your hands. Did you know, Eric Rothheim of Norway was the first to patent an aerosol can in the late 1920s. He'd been searching for the best way to spray wax onto his skis. How to style your hair with wax, pomade, or paste. They may sound like awfully heavy things to be putting in your hair, but these products used sparingly are ideal for creating light, unstructured hairstyles. You will need a wax, pomade or paste hairstyling product of your choice. A strong shampoo. Optional, towel, dishwashing liquid. Step one, start with dry hair. If you've just gotten out of the shower, towel your hair completely dry before proceeding. Whether you've just gotten out of the shower or not, you should be fully dressed before applying these products. Step two, rub the product vigorously between your hands until it emulsifies. That is, until it's completely warmed and melted by the heat of your hands, with no clumps remaining. Step 3. Skim the product across the top of your hair in both directions. With these products, you want to avoid working it all the way through your hair to the scalp. All of these products are best used on straight, short to medium length hair. Using them on long or curly hair can lead to a big, gloppy mess. Step 4. Style your hair as desired. For a textured look, pinch your hair up into spikes, then knock down certain sections with your fingertips. Most waxes, pastes and pomades are petroleum based, making them very useful in summertime to protect against humidity. Step 5. 
To remove the product, use a strong cleansing shampoo. You may need to shampoo more than once to remove any buildup. Wax is the hardest to rinse out. If shampoo isn't working, try a squirt or two of dishwashing liquid. Did you know figures in a wax museum don't wear wax hair? Real human hair is inserted strand by strand with a special needle. How to survive bad haircuts. Don't let a bad haircut ruin your social life. Turn a negative into a positive. You will need supportive friends, styling products, hair extensions, a wig, hair accessories, and an electric razor. Optional, a daily essential fatty acid supplement. Step one, wait and give the new do some time to relax. Often a good washing will allow hair to fall more naturally. Take a daily essential fatty acid supplement. These fats help condition and aid hair growth. Step two, call your friends for emotional support and help. Step three, experiment with new styling products and looks. You certainly can't make things any worse. Longer hair can be braided or pulled up into a funky bun, easily hiding mistakes. Step four, highlight your facial strengths. Create interest in your face and no one will notice your hair. Step five, try any number of extensions or wigs, either natural or synthetic. Step six, accessorize with hairpins, hair clips, headbands, or barrettes. Step seven, shave it off with an electric razor. It will save time in the morning and also keep your melon cool during those hot summer months. Did you know? A Scottish survey found that 20% of people have burst into tears over a bad haircut. How to trim your own bangs. Save time and money by learning how to trim your own bangs. You will need a fine tooth comb, elastic bands, pins or clips, hair cutting scissors, and a steady hand. Step one, style your bangs the way you usually do, making sure to apply any styling products you frequently use. Make sure your hair is completely dry. If you cut your bangs when they're wet, they'll dry to a shorter length than you wanted. Step two, section off the hair you do not want to cut by putting it in a ponytail, pinning or clipping it away, or tucking it behind your ears. Step three, comb your bangs down. Then, holding the scissors vertically, start making little snips using just the points of the scissors. Err on the side of caution. You can always cut more hair, but you can't reattach what you've cut. Don't try to cut your bangs across in a straight line. It's very difficult to do, so they'll likely end up uneven. Step four, if you need more control, hold your bangs down with one hand as you snip. Just keep in mind that the bangs will spring up a bit when you release your hand, so leave them slightly longer than your desired length. Step five, when you're done, comb the bangs once more to shake loose any cut hairs. Step six, show off your handiwork. Did you know, in the late 19th century, fashionable English women sported frisettes, or curly bangs, with the rest of their hair pulled back? How to use a curling iron. Wanting curly hair is nothing new, which is why curling irons have been around for centuries. Join the club, whether you're looking for bouncing ringlets or flowing waves. You will need a head of wet hair, heat protective serum, styling gel cream or mousse, a brush or comb, a curling iron, a non-flammable surface, and some hair clips. Optional, a blow dryer, hairspray, hair pins, and a wide toothed comb. Step one, choose a curling iron with an adjustable temperature setting so you can see how much heat works best with your hair. Also, consider how big you want your curls to be. The narrower the barrel, the tighter the curls. Step two, apply a heat protective serum to your wet hair according to the product directions. Step three, apply a styling product like a volumizing or curl enhancing gel, cream or spray to your wet hair according to the product directions. Step four, blow dry your hair straight unless you want to create spiral curls, in which case allow your hair to air dry and brush it straight. Step five, Plug in your curling iron and heat it on a non-flammable surface. Be sure to read the directions carefully, as different models require different amounts of time to heat up. Step six, part a line around the back of your head from ear to ear and clip the top section of hair up. Step seven, further divide your lower section of hair, pulling one smaller section forward and clipping the rest out of the way. For spiral curls, make half inch sections and twist them. For looser waves, make one inch sections. Step eight, open the curling iron and insert the end of a small section of hair between the barrel and the clip. 
wind the rest of the section in a spiral around the length of the barrel. To keep the iron from scorching your scalp, place a wide-toothed comb at your roots to prevent the barrel from touching your skin. Step 9. Hold for about 10 seconds, then open the curling iron enough so you can slide your hair off. If you want to lock in the curl, spritz each with a little hairspray and then gently lift the curl to your scalp, maintaining its shape, and pin it in place until you are finished curling your whole head. Step 10. Continue to curl the lower section of your hair one smaller section at a time, alternating the direction that you wind the hair around the curling iron. Step 11. When the lower section of your hair is curled, release a small section from your clipped hair and continue curling one small section at a time, alternating the direction that you wind the hair around the curling iron. Step 12. Use your fingers or a wide-toothed comb to separate and style your curls. The more you touch them, the looser they'll become. Step 13. For extra hold, spritz your finished look with a little hairspray. Congratulations, you're a card-carrying member of the Curl Club. Did you know? Ancient Romans curled their hair using pipes made of cane or metal which were warmed over a fire. How to use bobby pins to make three cute hairstyles. All you need for a quick new look is a handful of run-of-the-mill bobby pins. You will need medium to long hair, a brush or comb, styling gel or mousse, a ponytail holder, and bobby pins. Optional, hairspray. Step one, why fool around? Unless you've got short bangs, go straight to the supermodel poof. Gather a one to two inch section of hair from the forehead. Tease a bit from the back for extra height. Lift, twist, and push the resulting poof forward. Secure with bobby pins. A spritz of hairspray will help keep your look sleek. Step two. Pull a section of hair from the forehead straight back and crisscross two bobby pins to hold it in place at the back of the head. Then take a section of hair on the right and left sides of the head, cross them over the bobby pins, and pin them to the crisscross with upward facing pins. Bored of your bangs? Comb them back, secure with bobby pins, and cover them with a wide headband. Step 3. Apply styling gel or mousse to damp hair, pull into a high ponytail, and divide and twist into three sections. Bring each section back to the ponytail base and secure with a bobby pin. Loose hairs? That's part of the style. Did you know? The term bobby pin was coined in the 1920s in reference to bobbed haircuts then popular with the flapper set.